y'all. So I know you hear the lawnmower and I'm sorry if that's distracting. Someone's always doing something. That's why I don't post a lot of videos lately because I feel like I need to post videos when everybody is not doing something and it's quiet and that's just not gonna happen. That is just not the season that we are in, sorry, right now. I just gotta do it and if I don't get any views because people are gonna complain and lawnmowers, annoying times, all right, but okay. Got my tea, which, okay, let's just talk about this for a minute, right? This is that cinnamon tea from Harney and Sons. Whenever we brew it, the whole house smells like cinnamon. It's just really good. Thanks, Janet, for that recommendation. Okay, so I want to move into fall things, and so I'm not necessarily going to put this Heidi Swap Storylines Chapters project away. I did buy one of those We Are Memory Keeper trays from a Joann's cell that Josie put on her Instagram. Thank you, Josie, for sharing that because I would have missed out. I've been wanting that for quite a few years now. Now I have it, and after I show you this, I'm going to put it on one of the trays so that if I wanna work on it throughout the year, I could just pull out that tray. Before, though, I do that, I wanted to show you a little flip through of what's been done. So I know I showed this cover. I can't remember if it was on an Insta stories or a video. So let me talk about it. These are canvas letters and they get quite dirty. Really that's just paint, but canvas does get dirty. I should have Mod Podged it to seal it, but they're very old. They were at Tuesday morning fine back when stuff was like 59 cents at Tuesday morning. I think this is Heritage, a paper from Maggie Holmes. And it actually goes really well with the collections I really like for this book, even though I mix two styles and I'll show you that in a minute. But, um, so there's some stitching. Of course I didn't stitch through the cover. I stitched the single paper first and then I glued that on here. I didn't stitch the back cause I wanted to lay flat. Whereas the stitching would have added just a little bit of uneven -ness when you lay it down and that kind of bothered me. So I didn't do that. Okay, when you open it, this is the first page. And I decided to do like half a page because I really liked this uh, yellow building paper. This, this is actually Obed Marshall. Sorry, I'm getting it confused with, this is what I'm thinking. This is Paige Evans. I am going to use this one. I thought it went really well with this map paper from Paige Evans. I made sure I trimmed it in that area this right here is from maggie holmes round trip this tag right here and and so are these flowers this label i'm not really sure this is from illustrated faith they're kind of uh transparent tiles these are some of my favorite tiles i wish I had them in all colors. Um, and there's the city that we were mostly in, even though we explored quite a bit of the east side of Germany. We stayed in like the countryside, right? Which was, I wanna say 45 minutes out of Berlin. And so then I made like a little pocket here and you pull this out and um, this was a stop that we had in Turkey. And I wrote my feelings about that. <laughs> um. I was not impressed with their airport, <laughs> with the city. No offense to Turkey, it just, uh, it could have been the, the time that we went. I don't know. It was just not a good experience and not a good stop there. And I just wrote a little bit about that. Uh, okay, so then in the back here is this airplane paper from the Maggie Holmes round trip. This is probably a cut apart from Paige Evans, cut aparts of just places to journal. Perfect, right? And I think that is from Take Me Away. I made sure that when you opened it up, you wouldn't see what was inside. So anything that I was going to paste and decorate was going to be hidden, right? So it wouldn't look so cluttered. This is Heidi Swap. This is pretty old. I've had these for a very long time, which I'm really loving using my old Heidi Swap stuff back when she was retailing at Michael's. Did some journaling there. This photo, we got there at like two in the morning or something. Just wrote a little bit about that. And she was just so kind to do this little spread here at 2.30 in the morning. So this one was all over my Instagram stories. This I felt kind of, kind of lost, right? I was getting used to the idea that this is not project life. This is not traditional scrapbooking. This is a scrapbook 
journal. Here you can just tell that I was figuring that out. This is just some memorabilia. This is actually a photo. This was in front of her driveway. I guess you could say really cute poppies, I think they're called. And then other stickers that just reminded me of that place. And here are just some photos of our first morning there, which I think we only got maybe four hours of sleep. But I tell you what, the whole trip, we probably got three and a half to four and a half hours of sleep every night. But we were such in good moods and just had really great energy. And I think it was all by the grace of God. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> anyway, so here I have these little hearts, right? And that's going to tell a story that I have here. One, two, three, four. I don't necessarily love this, but I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. Okay, so as you see some stamping here. So that's new for me. I'm not used to stamping in my normal scrapbook process but um to hide all of that this page i trimmed it fussy cut it a little bit to make it interesting have a little pop-up here so you know that oh it's a flip out to that page this is just a tear strip and then i just love how these colors just go so well with this photo here after breakfast we go on a walk um, which they called a leisure walk. For me, my husband, <laughs> a two-hour walk is, 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 is not a leisure walk. And I love walking. It's just one of the things that makes me happy, scrapbooking and walk. They asked us if we wanted to see their property. And of course, we're thinking, yeah. Luckily, the weather was perfect. And I didn't really sweat. Four and a half hours of sleep, the two hour walk, the tranquil. Just feeling that at the end was just so worth it. And then this was around again their property. So this is all still the same day. This is more of a grid. So I was getting more of a hang of it. You know, I was seeing some videos. I'm like, oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, not so lost. And this part does remind me a little bit of Project Life. But again, there's no pockets. There's no, um, you know, constriction. Having fun with that. I'm really liking um, using different colored pins. That's fun. Here's, you flip this, love the trees, love of trees. They, they remind me a little bit of North Carolina, maybe double that size. I mean, they're tall trees. Walking with the host and we were just um, getting to know each other. She's such a lovely person and very interesting person too. Um, the first service of the conference, my husband shares. I don't really share, I guess I'm just saying hello to everybody and just introducing myself, which I'm very proud of because if you would have asked me to do that maybe three years ago i would have been like nah. and i write a little bit as to why i now want to do that and um how i'm enjoying doing that and my growth and then here's our friend charlotte we hadn't seen her for like four years love this big old title this is a price tag from Hearth and Hand in Target. And I was like, I gotta use it. It's just like super good quality. I love the black and the brown. Now, one thing I do notice that I'm loving are these photo corners, which I bought from Heidi Swamp. You notice there's that missing. So what I do is once I'm done with them, I cut out the negative and then I'll use it as a template. So I'll trace this and then I'll fussy cut that and I don't mind doing that because it's it's tiny and they're pretty much just edges so it's pretty easy to do. I actually just need to buy the punch, right? This is uh, Maggie Holmes. So a bit of a mix of collections here. Maggie Holmes and Heidi Swap. And this is from Laura Ballora's La La Land. The System Holtz word stickers that I've had for quite some time. Okay, now we're on day two. This is my view in the morning. Absolutely lovely. They own a farm, but she has a apple orchard type of business and she sells all kinds of apple products. Her apple juice was unlike any other. I wish I bought like five bottles and her jams were so good too. It's just beautiful. No journaling necessary. So there's bright colors, right? And so round trip really came into play here. Had a lot of fun with that. These are my own photo corners made with watercolor. Busting up my watercolors again. And then um, I didn't want it to just be plain white, so I did some watercoloring there. 
lots of different products here. So this is from Crate Paper Journal Studio, Maggie Holmes, uh, Round Trip, Laura by Laura, Stamping There, Heidi Swap. Then I have this spread. Lots of Heidi Swap products. This is from her Storyline Chapters line. This is still the same morning or afternoon. This was the view from the kitchen. It was like a bedroom, a desk, and then there was like a living room seating area with another bed. I was not expecting that. Um, as a minister's kid, you, you don't have really any expectations. You just go with the flow and you're just happy to be there. And it's just not forceful. I've been going on ministry's trips really since I was six years old and met all kinds of people and stayed in all sorts of places. So to have this though was quite the luxury for me as a minister's kid and I was very grateful for it. Had a lovely time there. Like I could just look at this board stickers to reflect my feelings on that. Um, Here's a little pocket. This is actually a guitar string pocket that my husband orders he was gonna throw it away i'm like no i could totally reuse that and i just uh got my craft knife to slice it in there and this is what was waiting for us and man i really appreciate this little sweep spread that she did that's apricots guys because our schedule is flipped upside down and so i was hungry when it wasn't necessarily time to eat and so this was really really helpful for me <laughs> if i don't have enough calories i could get really really dizzy then just has to do with people who have a low iron and then um we were talking about hunting he had some uh deer patties um i put roe deer because i googled it and that's all that popped up i'll have to double check with my husband but anyways and uh, with some potatoes and pickles as a texan I was not thrown off by that. I just never had it like warm. A Texan potato salad is cold. So this was warm potatoes and warm pickles, but I actually really liked it. <laughs> then I just wrote about like eating the meat, right? <laughs> so again, that's the Magnolia tag there. It's just a little background so I wouldn't be playing here. A little cluster washi tape from the Maggie Holmes new line. Okay, so then I have the extra photos, right? But I don't want them to be so obvious. And so I used a little bit of this vellum here. Kitchen sweet coffee for the week that my husband bought and uh, breakfast, what breakfast looked like every morning there. Okay, so again, I think this is still the same day. We did quite a bit, right? Cause you're in Europe, you gotta squeeze it all in. This is her cafe. He has all these portraits of his heritage, which I found amazing. Then I fussy cut this little window out of Paige Evans' Take Me Away. When you open it, there's the apple strudel. So when in Germany, one must have apple strudel homemade by the Countess herself, which that's a review I found on Google Reviews. So there's a lot of photos and so I just kind of trimmed down this page so that it wouldn't look divided, but it's all one day. This is a Maggie Holmes round trip. And we went to take a tour of a castle that belonged to his family. He's from noble blood. The castle that he doesn't own anymore. And I, and I write a little bit about that here. He told us the story of how that happened how he doesn't own it anymore. And um, it had a lot to do with the world wars. That was a model that they had of the whole castle. Just imagine on a Saturday afternoon, you're going to go to your grandma's for tea and, and this is where you're going. <laughs> so because it's all in one day, but I use several collections, I had to make sure that I had colors flowing. I wanted to bring out the yellow here so there's yellow in this scrapbook paper and then there's a bit of these browns here so that kind of all flows and then like these peachy pinks flows here you see it here you see it here and then there's blue so you see some blue here some blue here and then when you turn the page you'll get a lot of that brown and then there's a pop of yellow to also bring out the yellow 
here. So the colors mainly is what I wanted to flow throughout these pages so that you can know it's all the same days. I googled it up and I think that's what the castle is called. I don't know if this is like his name, but that's what the castle is called. I wish I had my camera with me and that was a debate, but it would have been an extra carry-on. I just had to use my phone and make sure it was clean, like no smudge, no lint, right, to get these type of pictures and also most of these photos are persnickety prints and their quality is just amazing that tear strip that's an old maggie holmes this y'all i don't even know where i got this from i don't know how i have this but i do it's old though very very old and that's where that that little thing is from it reminds me of a compass so here i bring in some of maggie holmes forever fields line from her papery pack. And then I made this little pocket because I have extra photos. Um, I'm, I need some help with some inserts. <laughs> I mean, these should be pretty easy to do, but this is as far as I got. And so, then this is the last layout that I've done. And this is where I'm stopping because this kind of completes this day. Um, and I absolutely love, 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 love this. Again, this is taken with my phone. Using mostly Forever Fields here. And I just pulled out a little bit of heritage. The only Heidi Swap thing is this. Little transparent sticker from... I, I want to say this is Storyline Chapters. You can get this at Joann's watercolor and some Heidi Swap shine which I'm super low in like it's barely there yeah there you go that is where I finished